Quit and Astralis, final map to the side. Who's gonna be making to the semi-finals? And look at the rush that's already coming. Astralis right on the bomb side. Stewie. He somehow gets a kill, but Dupree is back with a double instead. And he is gatekeeping. Oh, for just a second. It is a powerful position. They have the bomb site, but no bomb plan. And nobody likes gatekeeping, Anders. Magisk, he's still challenging and he's got one more. It's Twist. One versus three. And he gets flanked out. Patience from Astralis inside the bomb site to allow that play to develop for Glaive. And it's all over. One to zero on the T side for Astralis. That happened so quickly, we weren't even ready for it. No, I wasn't ready for a rush at all, but here we are. Apparently Liquid wasn't either. They got actually absolutely smashed. Oh my god. That's actually that's actually so grotesque. What? Well, you can't do much about that one. He just he threw the bullets out of the Glock and it just just connected with two people. I, I kind of need to see that again. Well, Stewie's going to get caught here, and yeah, he doesn't even tag Dupree. Elige is still there. He wants to get the aggression on the fallback. At least now he's finding information. Big kill coming in. If if he can land it, that would have been a beautiful one. Deke. Still two players defending the A bomb site. Twist and Nitro. Half as well in mid can rotate over very, very quickly. But Elige wants to make sure he maintains his aggression at the B bomb site so he can have the information needed to pass along. Well, that Molotov didn't really do anything. Sort of more like fireworks. And the boost in. Again, this is pretty commonly checked for the T's coming up the ramp. And now that they're falling back down, they're going to re-engage with the Molotov and a whole wall of smokes in front of them here. It's all very common, and you can tell Liquid having a very hard time getting through at all. I was noticing as well, um, Elise saying he you know, kind of like playing the map. Okay. Now, well, I mean, that's good to hear. Yeah, I like the angles, like the fights that were happening on it. So, that could be fun. He was a huge, I mean, he has been a huge reason why Liquid are, are here in the third map. He's put in actually just such a such an insane series for Liquid. I mean, the, the the attempt, the carry to keep them in map one. He was very, very good on Inferno as well with help from his teammates. He's 50 and 31 so far after the first two maps. 95 ADR across the series. Next closest in, in frags is Nitro at 37 for the series. Device leading for Astralis in the first two maps. 46 kills for him. Dupree looks like he's just chilling, like he just woke up. He's having a coffee. Throwing his feet up. Well, if you get into that kind of mindset, then why not? Feel at home on the stage in front of the crowd. Yeah, they have seen a lot of stages, a lot of finals, a lot of trophies. Next next time we go to an event, he's in a beanbag, just not even not even like a chair, just <laughs> <laughs> completely relaxed. Well, Astralis is also the defending Intel Extreme Masters, uh, excuse me, Intel Challenge. Yeah, they did. Uh, they did win the Grand Slam last time, right? I think they also had That's the Pro it, the League. Slam, uh, yeah. They also won the Pro League finals last time, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So they've, they've got everything going for them. They love it. Device. Oh. Maybe not loving that. No, not at all. But I, I mean, it's still so far away. Twist is the only one here. He's just got a P250 with no armor. He's gathering information though. He's telling them how close they're pushing up. So he knows at least Glaive is very, very advanced. He can pass that information on to his team. There's not a whole lot he can do other than communicate at the moment. There's the MAC-10, there's jumping from Glaive, he's got that one, and Twist turns the corner, wants to stop the plant, but it's covered perfectly by Zipnix. Three to nothing in the favor of Astralis. Yeah, couple of early rounds here. I've been saying uh, since last week, it's really not for a long time, but um, <laughs> that I think this map is really heavily T-sided amongst teams that know how to play it. Uh, so I, I, even if Astralis get like 11 rounds on this first half. You don't think it's safe? No. I, I mean, I don't know how Liquid are going to play this map, but I, I'm, I'm just thinking, yeah, you could, you could have uh, some really interesting strings or se sequences around here on this particular map. Well, this is the most important match we've seen on Vertigo yet. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you, you, you let it all go. Everything that you think you found, every advantage that you think you've discovered, this map is still very much untested and unexplored. It's still very early on, and you don't hide anything if you're either one of these teams. Well, so far, Liquid on this A side have put up a, a similar defense, which is, which is again, defending behind the bomb side. 
high chance that that's going to mean bomb plants on, on A. You're sort of more or less playing for retakes. Now, this I love. The, just a the, the little bit later in the round, the flashbangs to go and check. I think that's the kind of thing you need to do on the CT side. It's risky, but maybe it'll give you something. Everybody now from Astralis on the A side of the map. They have so many grenades. Nitro's got that AWP and he's far back. He's got the height advantage. Can he see enough over these smokes to nope. do some damage? Well, he hasn't gone up yet. Now he will. Gotta be careful. That spot is gonna be watched like a hawk by Astralis. And yeah, that follow-up smoke really ruins his life. Nade's coming out to delay and do some damage. And he hears where the plant location is. He spams. He gets... Uh, did he tag him through the box? I think he did, yeah. That Molotov must have been put out. But now, see, now 5-on-5 five five retake, which normally we'd be like, oh, that's a bit strange. Not so much on, on this map, especially on the day bomb side. Well, there's there's still a wealth of utility on both teams. And there's no kits on Liquid. That might be the deciding factor in this. There's the, oh, what a shot from Naf to Pre. Even saw the shadow first. Yeah, they've got to hold on to this 10-second defuse. They've got to stick it right now. Yep, time running out. Good kill for Stewie as well. Now they're on the defuse, but Sippy's down here. He can't really make it up. Even that long defuse. Yeah, he's trying <laughs> desperately. No way. Get out. Oh, oh, no. How dare he? Oh, no, they did win it with time. They, it ran out. Oh, God, that defuse. That's heartbreaking. Zipnix could do absolutely nothing. It... That guy's strangling the clapper in, in, in rage. They've been diff defusing that forever. I don't know what... That's... I thought they got on it with enough time. What is happening? They were on it for such a long time. That was that was funny watching Sip failing to make the jump, a little bit of comedy, and then turns out they don't have time. Now it's not funny. No, it's, it's it takes a completely different tone. Still uh, some investment, Elige, perhaps rage buying a Famas after that frustrating bomb explosion. The only one fully invested, Twist was able to save that. He's bought a kit, so... Other than that, it's a half-buy from Naf, Stewie, and Nitro. You have to get... You have to get deep... Deep down the, uh... The pit of, of anger before you rage buy from us. You know? <laughs> you are so angry. Yeah. Like, blood pressure has to be, like, above, you know... That's his 195. secret. Like, he's, he's always really, angry. Yeah, he's gotta be really crazy. Oh, could have maybe got some good wall banks in. Problem is, they can be returned from that position as well. He's coming back, full set of utility to allow them to get into the site and get this plant. Same, similar smokes we saw last time. There's the one on top of the box in case anyone is high. No one's there from Liquid this time. So far, not much connection through Nitro. Oh, wow. Showing up just as the bomb gets planted for a double with the CC. And that makes everything a lot in more interesting. Molotov there to force the vice out. He does make it back and is still alive, but still, they've got a good position. The bomb, though, is planted in a very different position from last time. They can be on that ramp all day, stopping the defuse. And it's going to be very hard for Liquid to try and get back here. They're fighting at the edge, but nothing but headshots coming out here. Oh, Elige, the rage from us working out. And this time they have a kit. <laughs> this time they do have a kit. No worries on the defuse. Liquid's on the board. It's one to four. They're going to love that out of a half by Great kills from Nitro to open up. We didn't see it from his POV. I'm sure we'll get the replay here, but that is uh, what really opens things up. That allowed them to be much more patient on the retake. Those two frags coming in, they could stay back a little bit longer coming through the smoke. They use your strategy, Anders. Throw a flash as high as you can in the air and jump through the smoke and just, you know, cross your fingers and see what you've got on the other side. Yeah, you make it sound like that, Moj. You make it sound like it's not sophisticated, but it is, you know? Yeah, I'm sure I just, uh, you know, I can't quite wrap my head fully around it's like an the art complications. It. You, have to, you have to listen to it in a voice and say, like, it's, it's, modern now, art. it's, it's now a good time yeah. to, to flash your way through. It's, it's an abstract strategy. Maybe if you practice a bit of meditation on top, you could really, <laughs> you could really hone in that, that feeling of when you have to flash your way through. That was great. Like, what a flashbang, what a way to set it up. And then the commitment to fight. I, actually, it's weird, right? Because 
a lot of other times you maybe would have said, well, one guy defused the rest to fight, but actually it made sense, I think, for all of them to fight. It would absolutely, the one the one sneaky like uh, factor of that round that really turned the tides is the fact that Twist on the rotation over, yeah, he has the kit, but he's got the Molotov more importantly, and he can force Device out from behind those sandbags. That was so massive. What a strong position that is in post plants. Yeah, that one round for Liquid. I really will see. Maybe they have a much better defense than, than we've seen before, but... I, I think every single round is going to count. I kind of one cool thing that we've seen so far is when the CTs save their HE grenades and wait for the the, the bomb plant and just try and double or triple nade it. I kind of like that. That might be fun to uh, to get a sense of. Don't know what Glaive is doing, but I wanted to stop. Well, round three of or round six of map three. In these quarterfinals, the winner of this will face Mouse Sports in the next round for a spot in the grand finals. I can guarantee Mouse Sports watching intently. Here comes the hit. Smokes again and some spam throughs. It mixes brought to half HP. Nitro wins another battle. He's doing great anchoring this position, but now he's kind of trapped in. Elijah's got his back. Elijah's got his back in a big way, taking down Glaive. And Device now trying to move into the bomb but The bomb is still far back. These smokes are going to fade before they can plant. That's going to make this so difficult. The AWP on NAF still not into play just yet. Yeah, and Astralis actually haven't, they haven't even lurked anyone in behind. Sometimes in all the chaos that will happen on this map, but now they're running out of time and they have got nobody there that could shoot anyone in the back at the moment, so... Astralis might be losing a second round here. I think that's huge. Bit of a chance. Good refrag from Elige. That's really nicely done. And Sip, well, can't hit the shot. And that's going to be it. Great defense being put up here by Liquid. Uh, Dupree has to decide if he's going to die or, or try and save it. He's... Decision is made for him by Elige. A second round for Liquid, and they deny a plant. So no bonus money over to Astralis. So their money there is, is pretty scrappy. Three players below 2k. Is huge. Yeah, this is this is nice for Team Liquid. We'll see how long they can uh, they can kind of stabilize after this one if they can go on any sort of a run. A lot of the time I've seen so far, and again the, the sample size is pretty limited, but even when you win the initial fight as the defending team on A, you lose track of one T player that's now suddenly behind you, and you still lose. That didn't happen for Liquid. They held the line, so to speak, and that's going to be really important. Elise again goes for an aggressive peek towards A. He's done that a number of times. We saw it previously when he only had the Deagle in the second round, but at some point you have to imagine Astros is going to have multiple bodies there to greet him. Twist and Nitro behind the sandbags. Yeah, they want to go for a sneaky plant, but it's the bomb. Yeah. yeah, it's all done now. No sneaky, and Magisk is sent off the map. It's on his way down. It's a long way down. Like that uh, Monty Python skit with people jumping out of the me from the meeting. No? no? No, I didn't catch that one. All right. <laughs> Sounds funny, though. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, back in the day. Four to three in the favor of Astralis, and they've got the guns back in hand. Four AKs, a Krieg on device. This time it's going to be Elige. Nitro and Stewie all getting aggressive, peering down those steps. It'd be a good trade comes out. They needed that trade. That would have been great if Dupree could have grabbed that and fallen back. And now Elige with control. We don't. We haven't since we haven't seen Vertical too much. We don't know what the protocol is. Do they do they come back and try and st uh, take this back, or is Elige? He might find another one. Magisk has got the kill, and that's crucial. He survives on seven health. I still I still think that's not such a bad idea, but now they could be in a lot of trouble. I don't know how you retake this. You might you not even try. You yeah. don't. That's a good call from Astralis to pick up the challenge over at the A site. They at least spotted two. They might have even spotted the third and that pushed the aggression downstairs and just realized can't be a whole lot of defense on the other side of the map. Now, they don't really have any money here on the Astralis side. Are they going to try and hunt it anyway? Another rifle gone. Naf. Definitely dangerous, even in this position. Oh, he's going to see them right on top, isn't it? Gets the kill. That's a lot to give up if you are Astralis on that chase. Like you said, not money built up, and that's a rare time we've seen them hunt when, when it costs them so, so much. Three weapons taken down at the end, and Liquid's got plenty of money to rebuy. I just had, I just had an epiphany, Moses. Okay. 
What if this is the one map where the Negev on the CT side, on that A-bomb side? Is just God tier? Yeah. Oh, you might have just changed the game. They put up the wall of smokes, you just you just hold down mouse one for a full seven minutes and just they just can't do anything. Well, maybe it'll be put to the test one day. So it looks like it's more of Astralis being dedicated to the B-bomb site pretty early on. Three players here on the stairs. Stewie is at an off angle with the AWP to challenge. Flashbang doesn't affect him. He doesn't budge into pre. Might be the first one to get punished. They can't However, that's not, at the, that's not at the stairwell. They have to actually go up the stairs and pretty much commit to that bomb site for Stewie to see him. Yeah, and I don't think they can even see him if they flank all the way around the bomb site. Like, it'll be a long time before they can get him there, so... There's a small miscommunication. Astralis can't know it, but Naf is actually watching deep in towards mid. There's no one watching the boost. I'm, they can go up those stairs and actually boost, you know, reverse boost over that, that window, and Naf would just be a free kill. Well, looks like they're going to be committing to it. Molotov in the back, so Stewie, they sort of read that coming. Oh my god, how does he get that kill? Taking down Device, they were right in front of him, they are all on top. He is gonna get, well, sprayed down. Stewie, no one knows why he's still living. Glaive is gonna be down next, now Magus trying to make it onto the site. They're gonna get the kill on Nap, and oh, that's a big opening. Capri getting one more, and he's gonna shut down the next player too. One on one after all of that. Capri with a triple. Looking for another headshot here against Nitro. Nitro knows on the pistol round. Dupree got aggressive towards that doorway, so Nitro's being patient with it. What an angle to find for Dupree. A fourth kill, a brilliant headshot on Nitro. I cannot believe he was ready for that angle. I don't know what to say. Six to three for Astralis. Stewie getting that kill. They have everyone there. But that's because all of it is so close quarters, right? You see, even winning this in the beginning where they're, they're doing a good job, but they, if, as soon as they let go of one angle, everyone has to focus on that, and Dupree is just back here having a great time. Wow. The, I think, looking back at this first half, the double CC kill for, was a Nitro Elysian, yes. I remember. That's going to be a big thing. This round here for Dupree is going to be another one that Astralis are going to be thinking about, and maybe Liquid too. Still, I mean, still though, one more buy, and you go back to Astralis chasing after that kill, coming down into a one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. yeah, Dupree wins it. It doesn't really, you know, it gives them a round, but they're still on the verge of just being crushed again. And the loot is losing bonus all this time is building up for Liquid as they buy through it with pretty strong buys. So another chance for Liquid to stem to uh, to put a stop to the bleeding before it gets too bad. Stewie, this is this is the only other thing that I can think of, is the aggressive orping. So I think, well, three things. Just channeling, meditating your way through smoke with flashbangs is one. I think one good option on CT side. Yeah. Grenading the bomb plant, or pushing, or being aggressive with orbs. I think those are the three things, at least in my mind, that I've seen work at least some of the time. Well, we know Astralis likes to be more aggressive than what we usually see from CT sides on this map. We saw it earlier, so we'll see We'll see some of that aggression, with, especially with the AWP on Device, once we switch halves. And Yeah, but... And Device is great with the AWP, but he doesn't do aggressive opening the way that someone like Stewie can, right? So right. that could be... Could be interesting. Maybe they're going to be able to do it. Stewie? Does he see anything? Not yet. He will sneak in the kill on Glaive. And I think that gives them so much to work with. 50 seconds now, Astralis. Are uh, they committed to it? Seems like they are. Stewie holding a very close angle here. A missed shot is going to absolutely get him killed, but he's not going to miss it. He takes down Magus as well. And now fighting on the bomb site. It's still a two on two, even after everything. Bomb right there. Naf, good position for a headshot. He almost gets it, but he's flashed and now being run down. And now it's Twist. He can be patient. Oh, he sees the leg. Dupree didn't spot him in return. Low HP on Dupree. Sees the shoulder now. He wants this fight, and actually Dupree commits to it. The back 10 does it. Does the job perfectly. Zipnix has got another clutch. Liquid has been so close to holding onto that bomb site. Two rounds back to back. It comes into a one on one, and they just can't win it. First against Dupree, now Zipnix. If you're Liquid, what do you do here? What a decision you have to make. You know the money is still low for the Astralis side. You want to capitalize on that, but no. you've run out of money yourself to really get a strong fight in you. I, I really wouldn't. I would pretend that I was playing on 1.6 nuke and that I was and just in reverse. 
you know, that, so I would say three rounds actually great. Like, don't worry about it. We just get get one or two more rounds in, and we are in a good position here. Stewie can't get that one done. Didn't hear him coming behind. Elige going to go for the flank. He's got to find Zipnix, and he does. I don't think that opens up and gives potential to turning this round in the favor of Liquid. No, I, I don't see that happening either. He is going to start pushing in. There is a smoke blocking his path. And the rest of Liquid, if they do want to go for this, they have to have him be effective. Yeah. But he's backing away. It is. I really don't think it's worth it. I just think mentally, you you should imagine that Liquid right now playing T side of 1.6 nuke. They've got three to like three to eight. Yeah. You'd be you'd be saying that's fine. Like you can you can work with that. It's not amazing, but it's doable. Save the rifle. Make sure you get another couple of good rifle rounds in here. Elige. I like that thought, though, too, because remember, their money is so low, you're trying to take enough out at the end to really yeah. make that worthwhile. Twist is going to just let things fizzle off. Three to eight. Astralis taking a powerful lead on the offensive side of Vertigo. Think about how they lose that. Like, they have Stewie, aggressive warping. He gets two kills. W what it was that really killed them was the MAC-10 getting aggressive through the smoke. I think Astral saying, yeah, we know this bomb site just ends up so hectic. Molotovs everywhere, flashbangs into the sky, smoke's blocking off every choke point. Let's get an SMG and just have him go through the smoke and see what he can take advantage of in the chaos. Maybe... I don't know, maybe some of these maps... Or maybe this map, some of these fights, you could have, you could have some success with some of the silence weapons, because at least if you're just guessing through the smoke, they won't be able to return them in the same way. Be harder for them to to guess the angles. No traces, obviously, for those who are new to the game, on the silence silence weapons. Everything else, you're gonna get an indication of where that shot's coming from. It's either that or then the Gev Moses. You you pick. <laughs> We've seen three different oppers for Liquid. We just saw Stewie, we've seen Naf. Now, in the trusty hands of Nitro. But this time it's pressure towards mid. They have, I don't think they've attacked this a whole lot. Great peak. One swings wide, Naf does find a kill but cannot build upon that. And with mid being susceptible, oh, how's Liquid gonna adjust? They brought a liege down very low and Stewie's probably feeling very lonely. Yeah. Reading on the corner timing. I think you've heard a little bit of a step there. Now gotta be careful. 30 seconds left. Three versus four. Nobody rotating in from A yet, so they're still in trouble, especially with the Liege being this low. And Device is sneaking all the way through. 23 seconds on the clock. Liquid, again, I really think every round right now on the CT side is absolutely critical. And Device, he may have just done it for them. He's seen two. He yep, knows. He knows. There's the high health player in Stewie, and Device just sneaking in behind. Liquid are gonna be so upset at this. Two versus three for the retake. They don't have the money to lose these rifles. I agree. Better to walk away. Even if Device didn't actually spot two, he knew there was two. They used both Molotovs yeah. through that smoke at the top of the stairs and right underneath the window. So the information was already there for Astralis. That's another scenario there where you win the initial fight, but you lose track of a single player. Well, they, 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 they won the fight initially, but they did lose, I mean, not just a single player, but they lose track of that entire portion of the map. When Elise takes that much damage yeah. and Naf goes down, they have no control of mid. And you have to think as well with the map this new, some of the protocols on how to rotate and who's watching which gap are going to be constantly changing and constant adaptations as this map gets played more and more. They have a little bit of the flavor liquid so far that I enjoy on this B side where they sort of, are about a minute or so, they flash their way out for Stu to take a peek. And I don't really want to pretend that I know what I'm actually talking about when it comes to, to how to play this. It's just, I like them doing that. I almost wish they would do it with like the commitment to push it, right? Like with two people behind the flashbang or something. Not this early on. I think if you do it in the beginning, you are you, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. I would I would wait again. I would say once you're close to under 50, 40 seconds or something, then hope that there's only one person holding it. The flashbang works. You get that kill, and now they have to do something. But let's just see. Bomb still uh, dropped in T spawn. So yeah, they're keeping Magus back there as well, just waiting. Uh 
Oh, Waited to call this. out which nade they probably wanted him to throw. You like that position twist, don't you? Oh, yeah, very much. I'm sure that's been spotted and seen in practice. Yeah, it has. S still aggressive towards stairs is Stewie. What's that first glimpse of someone trying to walk up and... Wait, how does he come back from that? If two or three people walk up, he I mean, he has two people on the other side that could help him, but in time? We'll see. Stewie, we know he's big risk, big reward. He spots one, but yeah, no, he does get away, but you can see the danger in that position. Stewie gonna play with the smokes. They flash him through. This is madness. This is insanity. He's got a double kill. Elysian Nitro are here, but we know this smoke. We know this bomb site so much chaos, and Glaive has the most powerful standing here in the bomb site. That is exactly what he needed to do, Stewie. Falling back into the bomb site. They've lost it every single time they've tried it now. Very uncomfortable here for Astralis. Both stuck behind them. Molotov causing out a pressure on the incoming CTs. Two on three. Oh, they do clear up Glaive. I don't know if they do it, but no one's watching for it. Now they know. Now they've gotten him at Zipnix. He's got a whole top of stairs. One versus three. No utility. Smoke covering the vision. There's the tap of the bomb. He's going to start spamming. They know where he is. Twist commits to it. He realizes Zipnix can't stop him whatsoever, and Elise is going to cover him anyways. Liquid back on the board. Four to nine. It took Liquid five rounds. That that play for Stewie is that's a that's a model of that's how I sort of when I've been talking about this flashing away through smoke. That's what I had in mind. Because again, surely everything inside of Stewie's mind well maybe not Stewie's mind, but everybody else's mind <laughs> Everyone else is, in the world. Is, is saying I survived the initial engagement, I put up the smoke defensively, now I have to fall back and call in my teammates. And on every other map, that's textbook probably the right play, but I really feel like on this one, that is not that is not the same. Yeah, he, he himself put up that smoke, I think, and then he just flashes way through. I really like it. I think that I I think you need to do that. Stewie's just the man to do it. As you said, everyone else but him, Brain's probably saying this is a bad idea. Yeah. Stewie loves that. Four to nine as Liquid try and close this gap in this third map of the quarterfinals. I... I can't prove it yet, but I think that I think four rounds is not bad. I don't think Liquid should be beating themselves up about this. Dupree now looks like he wants to challenge on the stairs. Might just be watching for a push. There's been a lot of aggression to start of rounds for Team Liquid over towards B. Still looking for that fight. Naf and Elise working together to hold mid. Stewie again going to get a chance, but Glaive is already up. I don't I think Stewie knows that whatsoever, but he might know the possibility. Good pick from Nitro. That's Device trying to challenge into the into the A-bomb site. And there's Naf. He finds Magisk, and all of a sudden, a five on three very quickly. Mid is closed. But Glaive into pre... Oh, the reverse boost. They could catch Naf. The timing of it is perfect. They now know two players at the B-bomb site. They know Dupree is in mid, but he can come back at any moment. And now it's turning. It's turning in the favor of Astralis. Yeah, especially with that middle of the map you know, sort of weirdly out of control for them. Liquid, who is going to want to risk it to try and find out what is going on now? If they just wait, you, you don't know if you're going to get shot in the back. I mean, Stewie's alone on this bomb site, and he's going to be moving up. Again, taking a re... Oh, he's falling back a little bit. But again, waiting on the bomb site means he could get shot in the back. They don't know that right now. It looks like... Well, Elise isn't watching this. This flank from middle, they, if they go through the door, they don't realize it. Stewie's, Stewie's dead. So he's got to be really careful about his positioning. Same with Elise. Same with Nitro. Nitro's back is turned, but Elise is watching it. There's the peak, but too low of HP to actually stop anything. The A bomb site is going to be lost, but Nitro has to hold on to it. He's got the AWP. Glaive already up, already pressuring, and Nitro doesn't want to peek until Stewie can get involved. They need to clear out Dupree from CT spawn. This kill is everything, or is it Nitro not quick enough? This is crazy. You see just the absolute paranoia of every single CT player left at the end. If you control mid as T side, there's just so many angles to clear out when you rotate as a CT. It's just like there's just too much. Yeah, but also, it's not even like you can just say, okay, fine, we've lost mid, I'll just focus on the bomb side there. Yeah. Like, that doesn't work. Your, your chances are you're going to get shot in the back instead. And if you fall back, you give him the bomb side. I don't know. I still think aggression is maybe the key. 10 to 4, ladies and gentlemen. Round number 15 coming up. It's 10 to 4 in terms of score in the favor of Astralis, but Liquid is leading first kills 10 to 4. 
Wow. Well, that's again, that says everything you need to know. Stewie, adding another one to that, taking down Glaive. I think Lee could have played a really great first half. Maybe the scoreline doesn't seem to indicate that, but I really think they have. Certainly, you have to think those two one versus one losses. Stewie, I think he might have been pre aiming or. Assuming that was going to be fine to turn the corner. Dupree goes down as Elise sneaks his way into the bomb site. Now, under cover of the smoke, he's actually going to twist his way all the way around. And this is unique plat pattern of movement. And Elise has got a second. He's also got the. Oh, no, he doesn't have the bomb. And they've lost middle. Magisk, second fight for him. And now again, because there's so much time, fair play. If it's only 20 seconds and we're in this two on two, that's completely different. But right now, Astralis can spend so much time maneuvering around. Which is actually why what Leech is doing right now, even with this little low health, it makes so much sense to me. You almost have to do it. The, yes. the odd thing about it is that, I mean, they have lost mid, but Twist is rotating away from the A-bomb site. So yeah, Elijah is pushing and getting information and saying they're not coming B, at least from here. But Twist has to be kept honest about middle because they've lost rounds because of it. They've lost multiple rounds because of it. So he's so paranoid. And look how long it's taken him to clear out all these positions. He's finally telling Elijah, your rotation is clear. You can come on in. But they've lost control of the bomb site and they have no kits. I was kind of expecting for Elise to continue to push and just try and flank them. I mean, that maybe would have been even more risky. I don't know what the call is now. I have to imagine that Molotov going to go towards sandbags. Where does the smoke go? Towards the gap in the wall, not on the bomb itself. Elise, you imagine he's going to stick it so the high HP players can try and cover, but no. Oh, they might think that was him. Twist is still defusing. He's holding it down. Zipnix can't find the angle, but it was just a matter of time. Too long on the defuse. 11 to 4. Astralis put up a solid offense. Yeah, they absolutely do. I, that's a good scoreline. I'm not sure it's enough. I don't want to call that one yet. We'll see how it goes when we come back for the second half right after the break. Don't 
Don't life get stressful Go and vibe out with whoever you next to uh. Live until the morning Sleep until the noon yeah, yeah. You said that you want it So I got it for got you it. The final half here at the quarterfinals between Astralis and Team Liquid. A matchup worthy of a grand finals indeed. And we're on Vertigo and nobody knows how this is going to play out. I've said, I think this, not, this is not an unwinnable scoreline for Liquid. Of course, the pistol is going to be a huge thing. But I really think it's a heavily T-sided map and I'm curious to learn some more. Aren't we all at this point? Two players at B, two players at A. Magisk watching middle all on his own. All five players for Liquid. Huddled around the stairs towards the B bomb site. It's Nitro with Molotov flash flash. That's a great shot from Stewie. Dupree goes down and now they have the ghost signal. Jumping up towards the window. Magisk wants no part of that. And Glaive is going to get caught at the E boxes. Right in between both of them and he can't manage it. Three quick kills for Liquid. Great advantage to take this pistol. I think these guys, I think they just fall back. Yeah. Device can upgrade the armor. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to... Zipnix probably can't. Snipe away if you're really interested, but yeah, definitely no reason to try and actively run into that. So, that first player, the forward player on B that goes down, fair play, maybe that, maybe that can happen. Now, I think it was Glaive who was standing in between those two... E-boxes, yeah. yeah. Generators, whatever you want to call Generators, them. Generators, E-boxes, I don't know. But yeah, when you're standing... Well, anywhere around those, like you either get immediate kills on the T's that are coming through, or you are always going to end up in that ridiculous, you know, flanking back and forth count. Yeah. Even if it's just one player, if you're the one standing still, they're going to do it to you. If now, if it's like two or three like this time, that's going to be a GG. So, um, 11 to 5, Liquid, I think, not without a, a shot here. Now they have the upper hand with weaponry as well. Full investment from Astralis, though, in this second round. The Deagles, the CZ, the Scout. Five smokes. Stewie's looking for information. You can hear footsteps, and he's looking for that jump from Glaive. He knows it's going to come out. He's got to be careful. There's another one looking. And you have to imagine he's very well aware of the possibility of that peak from Dupree, seeing as how many times he did it on his own defensive side. Yeah, they've given up on that side of the map now, which... Astralis, if they're quick to peek, which again, it's very hard to do when you're at the B-Pom side. But if they find out, at least they can start to rotate people over. Device hitting absolutely nothing with uh, with any of that. Stewie's going to watch the flank on top of Forklift. Astralis is starting to get a sense of what's coming. Glaive slowly rotating over. Magisk is here now as well. Zimnix is in this bomb site with the scout. That's a great first kill. Device... Gets a little eager to find information and gets straight bodied by Twist. Here's the scout just firing away through the smoke, not getting any tags. There's some good nade damage, but deaths are being taken oh. from the, the Astralis side, and Magis can't land any spam. It's like they just played around with fake bullets. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It seemed like he had the right idea, right crosshair placement even. It's funny because the first the first wall bang that came through, but the device landed right next to his head, so. <laughs> uh, that should have been a warning. Escaping, not easy either, it seems. Would love to, to save whatever they have here. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're brought low. Liquid want to take everything away from them. There is a Glil on the ground, but I don't think Naf wants to let them have that. That smoke is going to be up for a little while longer. They're just clearing out every corner before they start getting crazy aggressive. Zipnix, what a tough angle to guard your teammates back. Good shot. He's tagged Naf, and that might soften him up. Doesn't want to peek, and Dupree goes down anyways. I think Zipnix should be able to get away, and he does. But 6 to 11. Guy's wearing liquid shirt. Has an American flag. Has a stars on his bandana it's Moses. Doesn't God, make you... It's damn beautiful, Anders. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Bringing uh, some of that freedom back to France. They did do a little bit, didn't they? Give you guys the statue of the yeah of Liberty, I think, and so I think the uh, Resolute Desk as well. Okay, so there's some stuff there. Yep, that's not bad at all. Eleven to six, in round number eighteen. Okay. Ooh. He tr did he try to shoot the grenade? He tried to shoot the grenade away, because why not? <laughs> it's like skeet shooting. Stewie's done that jump a number of times. It's about time he got punished for it, and Dupree picks him out of the sky. 
if you could shoot grenades, as in, I mean, your bullets can interact with the grenades, but if you, oh. Surely they use Molotov. Surely they've got, they've got two of them. Oh, this is scary. They're not even considering it. No one's looking at it. If you had anything but a USP, that's the one trouble. No one's clearing this out. Oh, device could turn this. He's waiting for it. You're right, that USP is a big problem. Silenced. He's going to get the kill on the bomb planter. But now they're going to come for it. Every single one. He did do more damage even then. Still a two on two, which it might not be enough here. He's going to be up there. Make it. He really wanted to stop that. And I could absolutely understand why. Zip. Not a headshot. And Nitro, definitely a headshot. Yeah, no, but anything of the USP. They're, they're fortunate to get away with that one, because e even with the USP, just getting that kill on the planter, that's the go signal for everyone from Astralis, because you know, once the confusion settles, once they realize where he was, everyone from Liquid feels like they have to clear that spot. And that's when everyone else comes in from the other side. It added one kill into it and gave it a potential in a two-on-two. -two. Look at this. Now, bullets can interact with grenades to, to, to soften the damage or maybe even stop it. They can't obviously change the trajectory. trajectory. Now, if it could, what a game. This, like, it would be a very different game, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty god tier. That's like that's going to turn into a chess match. We've seen Stewie look for that shot. We've seen Glaive doing that exact jump peek. He does that on a number of maps, but... Yeah. Might want to be careful these next few rounds with that. 11-7 already. Astralis, what a peak. And then what a follow up. Sip down. Plenty of Molotovs. Device getting aggressive. No one looking for it at the moment. Twist is there. Great turn. Great timing and reaction. And again, just much like we saw in the first half, I'm not even sure they're going to take this bomb site. Magic and Glaive are starting to kind of inch their way over. This is a tough call to commit to this retake. Yeah, but unlike in the first half, Liquid are going to have a much better economy right off the bat here. And that could really make a difference. I think one thing that Liquid never accomplished when they were um, when they were playing CT side, which I think Astralis has to accomplish in some sense, is forcing the Liquid economy to shut down. Like if they, they can force them back on on Glocks, then yeah, that's the that's the way to do this. I actually think Astralis is in a lot of trouble right now. Okay. I think I think they really. I don't know if, if they really. I yeah. I just mentally imagine we're playing Reverse Nuke on 1.6. <laughs> well, Liquid getting close now. They've got their eighth on the board, just three rounds well within striking distance, and Astralis yet to put a round on the board on their CT side. It's been a 4-0 run to start this second half. He just like wrecked her camera time. He did, didn't he? He took all the attention away. <laughs> Oh, nice from Twist. He's had a really rough series. He uh, yeah. was the lowest performing player for Team Liquid coming into this uh, coming into this map. He still is. And look at this from Astralis. Now turning the next corner is dangerous. That forklift down there, it's smoked off for now, but that is very hard to see anything past that. So I'm I might not want to do that. Instead, looks like Liquid hearing a bit of the aggression on the other side. Are looking to gear up and maybe execute on this bomb site. Oh, but Tree, Dupree knows he was spotted. He's waiting for his team. Oh, he's not going to get out of there. Good shot from Elyse. The patience. They know Glaive was here as well, and Elyse has got that also. The jump to try and get involved in the action. And again, Astralis might just want to back away from this. Yep. They don't have too much of an investment, but Zipnix would love to keep hold of the AUG. I would say definitely save this. This is so risky, and you're going to need these guns. You. You're going to need a round where one of your defenders get a kill, so it's four and five, and even then you're, you're not even close to safe, but get that and then try and roll it into something more. I like the aggression over an A. I think that's very smart. Now, Liquid responding kind of how you would have imagined. I guess Dupree, I, I didn't get to check it in time. He didn't have a smoke at all. Uh, I thought he put one down. I thought I saw him like look down as if he was going to throw a smoke, but yeah, I guess not. That's what I thought he did too, but then he, he, he died. Least died before Then he just popped. died. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Twist um, ended up spending all of his energy yesterday on that Dust 2, 1 versus 4. That was where Twist did it all. You look confused, Moses. I'm trying to figure out what this noise is. I think it is literally the skies that have opened up. Is, there, is that rain? Yeah. Oh, that was like hell. It could be hell. I mean, I've 
you're, you're asking me to tell the difference inside of a building between... Where's Yanko the weatherman when you need him? 11 to 9. All smiles for Stewie and Liquid. And why not? They've got uh, a fair bit of momentum here in the second half. Astralis only have four opening kills. If you go back to Overpass, remember how dominant they were in the first kills and how, how that turned out for Team Liquid? Well, it's reversed here. This is, this is disgusting. Liquid finding every opening they need. Device with that AWP on this map, this is where you'd expect him to start getting involved. So good at being mobile, so good at finding first picks. Yeah. Well, they've got an interesting boost going on over at B, which I couldn't tell you if it's going to work or not, but you understand the idea of the off angle. And oh my... Oh, <laughs> how do you get that? How does he get that one? I Under wanna... so much pressure. I don't want to know. Oh, Nitro, he's got Zipnix as well, trying to move and trying to rotate. And this has got to cause so much confusion in the defense. You just saw two, uh, Stewie just walking up the stairs. You lose a player at A, you lose a player at B all at the same time, but they've got the right read. Astralis adjusting and trying to recover in this game. It's a three on four. They have device in position. But look at the utility on Liquid. They still have so many grenades. These positions that are going to be behind the smokes. It's a question of timing, just guessing. And device, if you pull the trigger, then that would have been godlike. But instead, he's waiting, hoping for somebody to make a jump. That bomb attempted. <laughs> <laughs> What a return. Twist taking down device. That has to be such a cool designed small tactic. As soon as the plant starts going down, just do that boost. You know the defense is going to start spamming the smokes and trying to get a little bit lucky and device gets caught completely unawares. Nice outplay from Liquid and they're up to 10. We're one round away from evening things up. Tell you what, if we see that replay from Stewie's point of view... Guarantee it's going to be something silly. Is he touching the ground when he pulls that trigger? Yes. Okay. You say that with great confidence, because there's a part of me that was really scared. It's, mo it's more of like a prayer on my part that I'm saying that. Okay. You're hoping... That it wasn't a jumping off shot? Uh, either way, I it mean, it's, ast it's astounding he's able to adjust and find that kill despite the fact that he's just getting riddled with bullets the whole time. I don't know how that kill didn't come out quicker for Astralis. 10-11. I'm telling you, reverse new. Look at the money. You're exactly right. Liquid always had Astralis on the verge of just yeah. getting completely drained of their economy when Astralis was on offense, but Liquid here, they built up so much cash. Yeah, if I could put in a bet right now, I would I'd, I'd do it heavily on Liquid side. I really think they've they've made it very far. They would be facing off against Mouse Sports tomorrow. That would be a mad game as well. On the other hand, though, Anders, Astralis has done a really good job of conserving what economy they can. These uh, Liquid still hasn't yeah. been able to completely wipe them off the map at any of these round wins. I mean, this last round, two players survived for Astralis. Before that, it was three players surviving in a loss. Before that, it was two players. The real issue is Liquid's now on a 6 to nothing run in the second half. Astralis have yet to get a defensive victory. And I'm, they had a fun boost and beat. That's cool. I like that. Didn't work. But no, no, but I mean, I, anything you can try other than just doing whatever you used to be doing. Another boost going on this side of the A side. Seen that before as well, although not in this high level of a game. I just want to see Astralis try things. I think going back to playing whatever, whatever they think default is on this map, I still don't think that's a good idea. Well, that boost gets broken up. Back away from it as the smoke and the gap clears. Yeah, looking like that A ramp again. Not really going to do anything that grenade. Sip still has an HE. We haven't seen anyone try to do that double or triple grenade on, on any bomb planters so far. No, not yet. Look at the leash. 21 and 11. Yeah, he's been a hero of this game, hasn't he? Whole series, all three maps. Zipnix and Device to defend. Still plenty of utility on both sides. Both playing really patiently for the retake. Ooh, some pretty good counter grenades and counter Molotov coming out there as well for Astralis. And looking at the time, it's not desperate yet, but we are getting a bit close. Twist taking down Glaive. Could guarantee you he's not going to be happy about that. And now Elise holding as the bomb is going to be going down. And that is so smart. Oh he was waiting for Magus to do that. He's going to follow it up with a headshot. He is absolutely wrecking them. Oh. Nitro to help out there for the last one. And yeah, this is perfect. Dupree in trouble even to try and save the AWP. 
Oh, Ooh. he's going to get that kill. That's not bad. That's a very nice shot. Alicia is such a juggernaut at the moment. What a way to entry. Finding a couple kills, getting a great advanced position to prevent any hopes of retaking. And you can see Liquid with Naf already on the hunt, trying to flank it out. They're all moving forward. Now Twist is going to be the next one down, but they want to finally take everything away from Astralis. They haven't been able to do it. The jump at Bates out the shot, but Elise wasn't ready. He didn't have his gun in hand. Dupree trying to disappear within the smoke, trying to get away. And I think he might just do it. Elise is running. He's looking for it. Oh, the no scope! All right. No consequence on the round, but what a battle just to hold on to your weapon. That just... That's a great symbol of just the, the the fight that Astralis has been under. And we're all tied up. 11-11 from 11-4. That is, well, we're learning a lot right now. We're all in, we're all in vertigo school, Moses. How does it feel? Liquid apparently aren't. No, well, they're teaching the class, aren't they, at the moment? Oh, the device is in so much trouble. What a risk this is to take this. I mean, Zipnix is watching his back, right? But Good. Take the risk. Okay. Well, Twist definitely heard those footsteps, and I think that's Device is going to get a new angle, but he's still taking this aggression. I don't I don't think Device realizes someone's there. I think Twist can actually still pick him off. Zipnix is falling back now as well. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. Good well, find. They, they catch one. That is that is not anywhere near enough. There's still in a lot of trouble at this bomb site. Elige <laughs> going to be walking right onto the site and taking down Glaive. And Elish, again, he's been a hero this whole game, taking down Magus next, and Naf is gonna be there at the crossfire. Really good stuff. Stewie to take down Sip, and now even improvising a boost on that bomb side. I think we're at least looking over the box. Yeah, just all the way at the back there, on the railing device. Not a chance in hell. Gonna be good down to Stewie. Liquid in the lead. Man, I... I don't know what to say at this point because this is one of those games from Elyse where if you show up on a screen, you just die. He's he's so on point at the moment. Uh, finding entries, finding follow-up kills. He even took a fight inside of fire. That second kill, he gets he steps into the Molotov to take the fight. Yeah. Just what supreme confidence he's come out with. 25 kills, 13 deaths, 107 ADR in the game. The weaponry, the money, very low for Astralis. 14,000, nearly 10,000 on Stewie, 14,000 on Nitro. They've got so much money liquid. Given the fact that they've just lost, what, eight rounds or something in a row? Astralis, it's hard to imagine they could put together like three rounds to crush the liquid economy. You talked about this earlier, and you were right, Moses. Yeah, but that's Dupree. Dupree has no idea that little chess match oh, yeah. has been going on the whole time. It's usually been Glaive, and you've seen Glaive hasn't done it since Stewie went for that pick with the AWP. Yeah. Well, that information did not get passed along, and Dupree's the one punished for it. Yeah, you are right. Device all the way pushed up, this time without any backup. Last time, at least, he had Sip there. I, I still think... To my mind, Astralis is still playing this too much like a conventional game. I don't know how, anyway, you would call it in the quarterfinals of the Pro League Finals that you, you would swap away from that. I just think it's so dangerous to keep doing what they're doing. Nice shot there. Maybe Liquid could have done a little bit more to flash their way in around the corner, but fair enough. Still a four on four. Elige opening up, and as you said, very, very powerful player. This time he does get shot down. Stewie there as well, 28 seconds. And now it's a two on three. Still the lead here for Liquid. They are going to get the bomb plant, and Ooh. I think that shot went right between his legs. He was moving just a little bit, I think. Either way, that gap in the smoke almost spelled the end of Zipnix, and now they've got to go for a retake. Magisk has been spotted. Smoke and flash. There's no kit on the CT side. A little bit of damage being done, but Liquid's still in the most powerful position. Zipnix now with an AWP trying to make this retake happen. Oh, that's a great little dink on a Stewie through the wall. Somehow gets that, and Zipnik knows. 10-second defuse. He can't pull it off. They must have this off. Device got two kills within the previous round. It's really the only weapon they've been able to rely on to get them some opening frags. And desperately falling back. Astralis still not able to put any kind of defense on board. It was 11 to 4 at half in the favor of Astralis, and they have just been getting blanked in the second. Yeah, and we were hearing from a lot of Astralis fans in the beginning, especially on the first map. Now, all the camera shots are the Liquid fans, and they're loving it. Yeah, wow. Ooh, that's a good stat for Stewie. That's a ridiculously good stat for Stewie. 13 to 11, ladies and gentlemen. 
Again, a number of close finishes, but they don't feel close. Even even 2v3s, like, it still seems like the T's have a pretty good shot at it. And now trying to push down, Dupree does get caught. You have to imagine Device. Who knows if he'll jump. Oh, he's gonna look. So he's found a leash, but he's just tagged him. A leash still dangerous. There's Naf to fall. Zipnix able to get that and back away. Look how aggressive they had to get to find that. Yeah. Pretty much got a tie round except for the weaponry that's in play. Astralis is reading this perfectly again. Three players rotated over towards A. The question is, can they stop it? Elysia's going to start probing into the B bomb site. He's not worried about risking his life because of his HP. And this that might be the winning play. If yep. he continues forward and realizes how free the bomb site is, everyone's going to come back. But he's yeah. paused himself. Yeah, or he's going to move forward. I mean, both work. There's a minute left. He could do pretty much whatever he wants. Now, there is a flank coming in as well from the CT side. I don't know. Uh, Elysia isn't doing anything, though. That's the problem at this point. He's I don't know. Now, this he's now end. cleared it out, but Glaive is waiting. 45 seconds. This is rolling the dice for, for both teams. Oh, wow. Not anymore. The wall bang. That is going to, yeah, that's going to load the dice heavily in Liquid's favor now. Three, oh, two versus four as Magus goes down and Glaive walking up behind. But even if he got the second kill, there still would have been 30 seconds. He only gets the one device. He would have to. This is the. If they win this, it's the first round they can get. It's a one versus three, and they're just walking in behind him. Bomb. Elise just got to be so confused. He just walked the whole map. We thought he was maybe going to be the escape route back to the B bomb site. He actually pushes all the way through CT spawn to be able to flank. Yeah. And look, his teammates just kill everyone. And Device somehow finds his one escape route out of it. 14 to 11 now. That was a half buy from Astralis. Part of the fun, by the way, for me so far is. Every single round we've had, Maniac is at the desk, and every single round, I just look at him, and he's just arms up in the air, <laughs> looking confused. <laughs> so I look forward to the to the analysis bit. That's going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. But Looking a lot like Astralis at this point. Yes, it, it very much. Very much so. I don't know. I... I have all the sympathy in the world for, for both these teams playing CT side and how hard it must be to, to, to say the words, hey guys, I, I, I think we need to just like throw, throw out the whole rule book. Like, let's just do something absolutely mental. Oh, I think because, I because at this level, you know, we're talking about the two best teams in the world. Like, nobody wants to hear that. But I just think so far, all I can see is that all of the conventional play that they've obviously both drilled, they know the positions, they have a, a theory about how to defend. I don't see that it's working at all. As soon as you get pushed back on A, which they do every single round that it is an A attack, they get pushed back and smoked off. It's never even close to a retake. And aggression like this is seems to be the only thing that's working. It's the only thing they've been able to rely on is that, that pick from Device. I think that's what, the second time he's got it now? Maybe the third? But Elysia's still alive, so... And now, conventional wisdom would tell you, fine, we've got four versus five. Now we can relax and play, you know, normal defense on B or A or both. And I just don't think it's true. I don't think it's enough. We're about to find out. There's three defenders, two defenders at the B bomb site. Magisk very quick and De De Dupree is just hiding inside the site. Glaive with an off angle with that AWP playing from the generators. There's the jump across the shot. It's a miss. He's got to put that smoke down. They know his position. Oh, there's the turn. Dupree is so blunt. Twist going to keep it up. He's going to push forward. Oh, and... Can't hit that shot either as Glaive, but that's the bomb. Oh, he might have gotten too aggressive. That gives Magic a chance to hold the line, and he's done it beautifully. Triple kill, and Astralis finally put a CT round on the board. There's life left in them. Something finally worked. Might have been aided by the fact that that bomb did, did, ran, did run all the way towards those CT players. Yeah, but this was still very close. Magis, it's a very important triple kill. Yeah. Well, now they have to build upon it. Yeah, money still... Actually, they spent a lot in that round, Liquid. Much more than I was expecting, or at least thought they had... A, they still have a lot for a buy next round, obviously, so it's not that, but... If, if Astralis can win this round and the next, then they would be at 14, then they might actually win the map. Big if. Yes, like... A really big if. 
what a crazy game this has turned out to be. As well, you have to realize too, with Ver with Vertigo, with how many retake situations we have. I mean, there's a Liquid can get a lot of bonus money. Usually, these bomb sites are not not free, but played retake. So you have that chance, Molotov. Oh, oh. smart. That was, I mean, that was so smart from Glaive as well. He realizes the Molotov thrown onto the right side of those boxes to force him into the crosshairs of Stewie. If someone waiting on that side, the fact that Elise is spamming is just like checkmate, bro. Yeah, that was the plan. Spam that AK to one side, hold the angle with the AWP on the other side. Not really many ways out of that. Now they're back to the A bomb site. And again, every time that wall of smoke comes up, it doesn't seem like there's any chance of a retake. I don't know if Sip is going to be the player to try and flash his way through, but. I think waiting is is not going to work. No AI makes the decision to flash themselves through his smoke. Flash is high in the air. Nitro is going to lead the way. He's taking a little bit of nade damage. That smoke doesn't cover everything. He's a free shot for Device, and now he's in position. But Stewie's got him over the top on the railing. Device never expected that angle when Zipnix is brought so low. Now he definitely does not want anything to do with the wild aggression. And Liquid again, advantageous round for them. But you feel like Astralis must go for this. They cannot let Liquid get on a 15 just for free. I mean, the, the round loss bonus is stacked up, so they'll still get a lot, even if they just won that last round. I guess that's one thing. Meg is going to be going for a kill, and he does get it on a liege, but two on three. How could they ever get close to defusing this? I just don't know. Twist now right behind him. Going to be tapping the bomb, but surely Twist going to be able to get that kill easily. And Dupree. One versus two, the bomb is so far ticked, there is absolutely no way. Twist coming back, and that's 15. That is map and series point here for Team Liquid. What an important trade for Stewie with that AWP, because that smoke didn't cover anything. Device was about to have a field day, and he was loving the fact that he had free vision. Stewie jumping up on the railing, one step away from tipping over, and a great flick. Up to Device. Opens up the whole bomb site. 15 to 12. What a bounce back after overpass. They were decimated. I'll tell you what, social media is going to be an interesting place after this game. I'm not going to lie, Moses. It's, it's going to be crazy. I'm excited. Yeah, well, aren't we all? Well, here it comes. Possibly the final round. Device, again, he's had a lot of opening kills, mostly on the A side, this time in the middle. Look at the, Stewie and Elise have just been working this bomb site this whole half. They've done it a number of different ways. And Elise sees the trajectory and he tells Stewie, I know exactly where he is. Now jumping back and forth. Stewie waiting for a peek. It's a tough angle with the AWP, but he's going to slowly start clearing around. He's hunting down his prey and he can't hit that shot. And he can't fall back because of the flames, but he's still here. He can get away at least with his life. Four on five. Astralis in position to continue this battle. Yeah, they walk away, but then they rotate Elysian to this front position with the AK, and he's gonna get shot down. Glaive with a huge kill, five versus three, and it's not over yet. Liquid now looking to re-engage the bomb site. They have that one smoke they just put up. Flashbangs to follow it up. This will not be easy. Oh, a team kill would have been Dupree otherwise, I reckon, and yeah. Astralis is gonna win a second round now here at the second half. Second CT round they have at all. And that's a nice hold from Astralis. This time, they don't fall prey to Stewie and Elise, who have been so effective over there. They actually keep everyone alive until Liquid finally commits to a bomb site. Two rounds left for Liquid to close this out. But this is going to be the last strong buy they have. Astralis might be able to bring this back. If they win this round, Liquid's going to be fighting with scraps. You know what the best team of all time would be on this map? The old Vega squadron, I imagine. <laughs> all the Mac 10s. Look how quickly Stewie is ready to attack this A bomb site. Already a Molotov out. There's still three players on the B side of the map. And well, Zip Nix, that position up on the railing right behind the beam. They haven't cleared it out yet. Much quicker aggression this time for Liquid. And they're going to be going down on Sip. Once you lose your teammate there, there is absolutely nowhere to go. And this just might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Four versus three, Dupree nearly going down. He will be going down. And I don't see that there's any way. We've never seen a retake work in this map so far. In there this is, kind of position. There's two smokes and there's a kit on Glaive. That might be the only thing they have to do is just drop a smoke on the bomb, try and get, but look, they're, they're getting spammed before they can even get into position. Glaive just kind of has to go for it. There's the smoke on the bomb. There's a smoke in front of it as well, but they can come from this gap. Good kill from Device. Glaive still not making his way just in yet. Device gets a second one. They could do it already. 
And Device, he misses a shot, but he's gonna stick it. He's gonna stick the defuse, and that's got him in the smoke! Liquid make their way to the semifinal. A 